Hey YouTube, what goes on? And welcome to This About Action Figures, bringing you toy in episode 234. It's a windy one day in Pennsylvania. We're outside the Walmart in Hazleton, PA. You're gonna see what's inside. Walmart's starting a soft reset from what I understand. So looking for some new wrestling, new G.I. Joe, new Marvel Legends, all the normal stuff. But before we get to any of that, if you're new, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It's free for you, it doesn't cost you anything. Helps us grow the channel tremendously. Go ahead and hit that bell notifications. The way YouTube actually notifies you and tells you when we post new content here on the channel. Like our weekly toy hunts, reviews, and live streams. Leave a comment down below, hit that like button. And for daily toy content and daily toy updates, try checking us out for Instagram and Twitter at disabout underscore 12. Let's see what they have inside. All right, so Hazleton Walmart, it's packed here. So I'll do my best to, to film if I can, but I haven't seen these before. Imperial Officer from Star Wars Andor. I'm guessing this is new, uh, but they're on a, uh, not really an end cap. I guess you can tell it's just like a, a shelf thing here at the end of the aisle. But you have a bunch of him. Uh, down here, we do have uh, Cassie and Andor. Um, again, no context for these for me. I haven't watched the series. Um, heard it's very good, though. Uh, down below, we've seen those before, I think, right? That's the guy that came out, I think, a while ago. And then down here, we have Credit Collection Boba Fett with very bent-up cards. Um, but we're gonna look around, see what else we can find here, and I'll show you what I can. Okay, so toe aisle is just filled with people. I can't film over there right now, uh, but I grabbed these to kind of show you, and then I'll put them back. We have Happy Corbin from Series 99, WWE Elites. There's a cross cell. Uh, he's the boogeyman, and he's coming to get you. He is here. I guess the red face is the chase. Uh, I've been seeing that over there. There's actually two of these. I just grabbed the one to bring over here into the Lego aisle <laughs> to show off. But again, that looks pretty cool. It's not for me. Uh, and then Cowboy Brock Lesnar. <laughs> Very interesting right there. Uh, again, I, I watch enough WWE to know what this is representing. Um, but uh, yeah, again, always fun seeing new figures, even if it's stuff I don't necessarily feel I need to buy. But yeah, there we go. Three new elites. I'll try to show you the aisle one more time. But if it's packed over there, you might hear a crying shout in the background right now. That's from the same aisle. Uh, I'm just gonna have to punt and go somewhere okay, else. So it did thin out a little bit, so I can kind of show you what's here. So transformer stuff, as I always say, what you see is what you get going on here. Not a whole lot. TMNT stuff, uh, pretty well stocked on the retro carded things. We got the big boys right here. We got our pizza toss and Leo, pizza toss and Raph, and another pizza toss and Raph over here. Uh, a lot of G.I. Joe and Marvel Legends as well. So I'm kind of picking my way through the aisles here. Uh, retro G.I. Joe, it's typically what you expect to see. I don't see any clearance tags, so no clearance yet. We do have Snake Eyes here. Uh, we have Snake Eyes, always do that Storm Shadow here. Uh, in the back, we do have another one. We have our Spirit Iron Knife. Uh, all these two packs are here, so they are stacked with those. Uh, regular price on it, unfortunately. Here's the wrestlers I brought over and put back. They're sitting here. This is the other boogeyman. Uh, but wrestling, pretty well stocked here, as you can see. Uh, down here, we have some of the MJF Walmart exclusives. Uh, down below, some vehicles, Star Trek. Another G.I. Joe, Cobra Officer hiding down there. Uh, Star Wars, in addition to what we saw over in the other aisle when we got here. Some three and three quarter stuff. Um, Marvel Legends, DC Multiverse, what you see is what you get. So we have older Multiverse stuff. Uh, some older Legends down this way as well, as you can see. Um, what was down to $5? Not Legends, okay. Uh, Sharon Carter, which is the one that's not swapped, which is nice to see considering we saw that swapped one at the Tamaqua Walmart. Uh, and we do have uh, two of the... Uh, Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse figure. So we have two Spider-Gwens there. So that's always nice to see as well. But other than that, I don't think there's much else here for us. Uh, NECA section is abysmal. I'm not going to waste your time. Here's where I started the clip a few seconds ago. So let's get out of here and go check GameStop. All right, so Ollie's in Hazleton, up the highway from the Walmart. I, did, I went to GameStop. There was nothing there. It was a waste of my time. So didn't show it to you. All right, Ollie's, good stuff, cheap. So unfortunately, not looking to even remotely like the Allentown Ollie's. They do have red ninjas, just not the hand ninja we're looking for. So older G.I. Joe. Uh, they do have, of course, Shriek here. So Shriek has been like the common denominator across all the Ollie's that I've seen are seeing Shrieks laying around. Uh, down below some Power Ranger stuff. Of course, we have tons of um, Ray because Ray is everywhere when it comes to Ollie's. Um, maybe it'll be valuable now that she's gonna be in another movie. Who knows? Uh, down this way, uh, we do have an Emperor Palpatine tucked away back there. Uh, Eberzan's here. Uh, Ronan from Marvel Legends. There's the old school Panda Baba right there. Um, but again, nothing crazy. They still have Holdo here. Hold it on to their Holdos. Uh, Star Lord Mask, that's interesting. Um, here we go, we're a couple more things down this way. It's kind of just mixed in. Uh, Ant Man, it's weird that's the only one I've been seeing recently. 
Uh, we saw Thors and Things early on. Now it's just a lot of Ant-Mans around. Uh, more Star Wars down here. Uh, Ponda Baba, Dr. Eberzan. Uh, looks like that's about it right there. And working our way down, just trying to scan as best I can here. I think that's probably it for what we're going to find action figure wise. Uh, there's all the Space Jam stuff that nobody ever wanted uh, from that movie. Up top, I see He-Man chilling. Uh, but that seems to be pretty much it for here. So I'm going to walk around one more time and just double check. There's no end caps. But otherwise, I think I'll talk to you at the next location. So back here at Crocs Road Target and new wrestling is out. So we have already seen him. First time seeing the new Cena. Uh, we also have down here stunning Steve Austin. So he's cool to see for the first time. Otherwise, that's all Cena's uh, over here. More Cena. It's a Cena type of day. AJ Styles, Supreme. Uh, sorry, Ultimate, not Supreme. AEW, nothing good. Even though that sale's going on, unfortunately, that is not worth it to buy those. All the Murder Hawks. Uh, Black Series, there are more on the end cap that I'll show you in a little bit. All these Landos are still here. Look at all those Landos. Uh, Indiana Jones, we have these here. Basic stuff. Uh, up top, three and three quarter. Indiana Jones, little guys, the three and three quarter there. Uh, Mo2 stuff. We still have a Shadow Weaver sitting here. A bunch of two bads. Uh, there's the German mechanic. Uh, more Mo2 Mo down this way. Turtles restock. Rock steady. Uh, ch -ch -ch. So we got to work on right there. Splinter in the back. Bebop. Crank up top. Um, other than that, not much else in this aisle. So I'm going to dip out. See what we can find on the other side. Uh, or in the next section, depending where I go next. Yeah, good old clearance end cap next. As is for $17.49. There is Akiko for $6.59. I'm considering it for $6.59. I've said it a few times already and I've passed each time. Uh, down here, some other stuff kind of crammed on the side. Uh, finally got him down to $5.99. Holy smokes for King Shazam. Those are probably all King Shazams, aren't they? Yep. Armyville King Shazam, folks. Uh, Jurassic Park, $4.49 on that little guy. What else do we have sitting here? $4.49 for Robert Muldoon. Um, is this Nick Jackson? Yep, there's Nick Jackson. Yeah, that, that was two, actually. I might consider that, too. Got a little, a little bit of uh, Samuel L. Jackson. I said Nick Jackson, didn't I? <laughs> it's a wrestler. <laughs> I was thinking Nick Fury, Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, up here, Power Rangers, $12.99 for the Red Ranger. Uh, let's keep it rolling right to the Star Wars end cap over here. Uh, you can see we still have Magistrate Grief Karga here. Uh, Migs is still here. And the Grand Inquisitor is still here. Bunch of the pigs. Um, down below, nothing really that new. Uh, also, we have our Han Solo, our Wiccan. Uh, but yeah, seems to be about it. Uh, let's go see if we can get to that other aisle. All right, and main aisle access. And it's so crazy not seeing Marvel Legends in this section. I think they're all on end caps now. Uh, still some Ghost Rider sitting here down this way. Some basic Spider-Man stuff. Power Rangers D&D. &D. Again, nothing jumping out at me. It rhymes, a poet, and I didn't know it. Uh, shipwreck. So again, all these Joes just wiped out. It is almost Joeless here. Uh, so I bet you a lot of that probably did go to salvage. So we've seen that in like some crazier bargain stores. But yeah, not much else here in this aisle, as you can see. Transformer stuff. Um, but yeah, let's go check NECA and see what's in the next section. And actually right behind me here is the, I guess this is the Marvel end cap. So we have one Spider-Man 2099. Some pops, 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 pops. Wrap around the corner. Nothing going on that side. Over here, some more miles. As you can see, not a whole lot of Marvel Legends going on here on this Marvel end cap. And the NECA end cap still here at Crocs Road. Again, seems to finally be whittling itself down to next to nothing. Uh, now the Target Holothon or Targetthon's about over. Gargoyles, nothing new down there. All right, let's keep poking around and just checking random places. And the other Marvel Legends end cap, I've shown this to you before. We still have way expensive Groot. Looks like a lot of the Guardians are still here. Warlock, um, Drax. So, yeah, nothing really new since the last time I was here. Just kind of moved around or picked. All right, we're back here at Hamilton Street, Walmart in Allentown. And they do have Crimson Guard. Uh, Dusty Zarana, which I heard about this really bad arm issue where the arm pops out. I saw it on Articulated Ninja's review. I guess it's happening with her and some other figures. Oh, but man, two of the Crimson Guard. I only have one of them. And I said I wasn't going to go army building crazy, but I kind of wouldn't mind having a second. I do have a gift card. So I might pick one of these up and leave the rest. I'll tell you what, I'll post the rest over at disavowed underscore 12 on Instagram for local collectors. So I'm going to grab him and probably leave the rest behind. Other than that, no new vintage stuff. Or retro card stuff, I should say. Uh, down this way, looks like we do have some wrestling. They were here last week. 
Looks like the Dusty, I think, and the Holgen are gone. There's a rock. So yeah, Dusty and Holgen are gone from last week when I was here. Uh, down this way, we have plenty of three and three quarter Star Wars retros for days. Lonely Lando, of course. More Lando. There's Cassian right there. Saw him earlier in the video, I believe, at Hazleton Walmart. A whole peg of him, actually. Down this way, superpower stuff. All older stuff from what I can tell. Uh, here, I think we would have some new multiverse thrown out here. So I think I saw Beast Boy already somewhere. Uh, I can't quite recall. There's Joker Gold Label um, chilling here. So he's also here. Uh, on the back, he's the Vampire Joker. I think I errantly called him out at a, a previous hunt. So that's actually him with the Vampire logo on the back. Uh, let's soon slide this out here. Beast Boy, I'm pretty sure he had, uh, he's right there. <laughs> so we definitely saw him about a minute ago. Uh, so plenty of Beast Boys. There's another one there, another one there. Actually, it's uh, Martian Manhunter, sorry. Uh, otherwise, down this way, Multiverse stuff. Uh, Marvel Legends, old Loki stuff uh, from Disney what if those three are still there when am i getting a magnet on a clearance but they won't drop the price but i think that seems to be about it so i'll check the echo section then probably sign out from over there but i'm gonna grab one of these i would like to have two on the shelf i think what the heck use the gift card right use the gift card all right so i scanned this on the walmart app and it came up not in store and it just rang up for 17 dollars uh 1802 with tax so yeah i might go back and grab the other one because that's a Great price. <laughs> I don't know, I'm going to decide on the other one, but definitely wanted to show you that it came up as 17. So that's a crazy clearance section or clearance deal. I don't know, but yeah. That's all right. right. So I went back and got the other one. $17 for an army builder, which honestly might be my second or third favorite army builder they've done. I, I'll do it for 17. Plus, I had those gift cards. So, all right. Picked up both. I did post it on Instagram. Those other ones are here. I'm guessing those also ring up. 17. I'm, I don't want Dusty and I don't want Zorana because of the issues with the arm that Articulated Ninja talked about it in his video and some other people as well. So 17, I'm grabbing the extra one of these okay, all day. Freaking dump rain here, but I call that a W. I took both. The second one, I literally had like three gift cards with like $5, $2, and $1 on them. So I ended up getting it and only paying like $8 or something like that. So uh, two Crimson Guard for only $8 of cash. I will take that thanks to the gift cards and a weird Walmart glitch. So against my better judgment, I stopped in here at the uh, Easton Walmart in my travels and well, one, I forgot they completely moved the toys to the back of the store. And secondly, I forgot there's typically never anything here. <laughs> so uh, this video is getting a little long anyway, so I guess we'll probably call it there. Oh, on the other side, there are a lot of wrestling. If you're looking for 45 uh, Walmart exclusive Hangman Adam Pages, they're on that side of the aisle. <laughs> but with that said, as I said, this video is getting long. Let's call it here. So if you're new, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It's free for you. It doesn't cost you anything. It helps get the channel tremendously. Go ahead and hit that bell for notifications. The way YouTube actually notifies you and tells you when we post new content here on the channel, like our weekly toy hunts, reviews, and live streams. Leave a comment down below, hit that like button, and for daily toy content and daily toy updates, try checking us out on Instagram and Twitter at disavowed underscore 12. Hey everybody, if you're really toying this week, please remember the three P's of the toy hunt. Patience, persistence, most of all, politeness. Take care, stay healthy, and I'll be seeing all of you at the pegs.